Hey guys at osnvdxreviews.com. You're watching our video review of Mattel Mindflex, which is a, a game that pretty much uh, is very strange, very weird, but it uses a concept in science that's really, really cool. It basically reads the, the waves, your food concentration levels on your brain via your forehead and your earlobes, and as a result, it basically sends wireless signals to this game board, and it tells it to levitate a ball using its fan um, at different angles and at different heights, due to man a manipulation of the fan speed. And this makes this device really interesting because it claims that it's going to practice your concentration level. And if you concentrate on a, pl on a point of matter or you concentrate on a math problem, if you're thinking really hard, the device can actually measure how hard you're thinking and as a result, levelate these foam balls to different heights and as a result, allow you to complete different missions by putting on these little plastic pieces so it will go, the ball will float in different directions and move in different settings. Now this makes this device quite interesting indeed, but at $100, is it more of a gimmick or is it not? And our answer is, it probably isn't for most people, but this device is, is really very, really varies for, from, on performance from people to people. Um, I know that Mindflex is designed for a medium of teens and adults in mind, but in my case, this is the headset that you have to wear when it's measuring your head waves. First of all, the headset itself is kind of comfortable. Um, it's not too heavy at all, and um, it, red light turns on when you turn the device on, so you know that it's being connected to the device. And when you turn on the Mindflex base station, a speaker will announce it's scanning for the headset, and it's connected to it after each game. Um, it runs on AAA batteries, so the battery life is pretty good on this device as, all, as, um, as well. It basically uses three different contact points. Now, a metal contact will connect you to, the for to your forehead, and that will read uh, your frontal lobes, and it, it will read how hard you're thinking using your forehead. And then you have these two ear clippers with the same metal contact that will plug onto your ear. It will clip onto your ear, and they will read your ears. Um, the device worked really well for me, um, but I have really thick earlobes, and as a result, these clips kind of hurt. Even though they're bonded with foam on the other side, they do hurt um, in my perspective. But I've tested it with uh, various other people um, and other um, members of OSMVTXReviews.com, and they said they didn't have any issues at all. Um, and also, we had some people that didn't work. The device couldn't read their concentration levels at all. Some of them worked really, really too well, and the ball was constantly always floating. But for me, the device actually worked um, exactly as advertised, and I found this device really interesting and cool um, to a certain extent. That, in my opinion, it isn't gimmicky at all. The science behind it is certainly very intriguing. Now, the game board itself works like this. You basically have five different games to pick from, and this is a solo device, so you can really play by yourself. There's a version of Gameflex Duel that allows you to play with another person, but this is the original model, um, which sadly doesn't allow you to do that. But basically, you have options um, to use Freestyle, which basically just practices your concentration level, and you have this uh, movable circular pad that basically is mechanical, and you have to move it throughout the games that you're playing in order to move the ball um, in a left and right up and left and right direction instead of just up and down with your mind. Um, this works very well, but you have to keep another thing. You have to use your fingers, so that might lose your concentration level a little bit. Now, the sensors in this device is fairly really accurate. Whenever you're moving through different points, these uh, four sensors will light up, and it automatically st the fan starts at this point in order to calculate your, your calibration levels. So let's go through each game quickly and tell you what we think of them. Freestyle. Pressing the device once uh, get, announces the game's name. The first game is Freestyle, like we talked about. No, the second one is Mental Map On, and, and third is Danger Zone, chase the, lights. the fourth is um, Chase the Lights, you have to follow the ball in the direction of the lights, shot. and the next is Force Shot. So these are all pretty easy to use. A gray button doubles as an OK key for this device. There's a uh, remote sensor over here. So let's just try Freestyle right now, and let's wear the headset. It recognizes if, you're not we headset. if it's not wearing it, so I turned it on, and I now I have to wear this. Again. And I have to set it down. Let's see. This is usually my least favorite part of this because, again, for me, my ears are kind of t uh, my earlobes are large, so they hurt a little Check bit. Headset sensors. And now I've connected it, so it should be good. There we go. Next. Come on, work. Check. There we go. We are finally done. And the green light will mean that it's connected. 
now the fan is spinning if I'm concentrating or if it's not. Now sometimes this device is really finicky, meaning that even as I'm not concentrating, it's going to read it as concentrating, but now as I'm talking, um, I'm not concentrating as much, so usually the fan will die down. But if I concentrate on like a point, it will get higher. So based on your concentration levels, uh, this device will um, have different ratings from green meaning high concentration and red meaning low concentration. So right now, I'm thinking of things, blah, 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 I'm looking at different things, um, I'm getting not as concentrated as before. If I stare back at a point, my concentration will be higher. Now a problem you might see with this device is that sometimes it's not very accurate and as a result, there are some issues with the fan. And another issue is the f sometimes the foam balls don't levitate exactly as you want them to levitate. So they do fall off the tracks and you have to reposition them, which again, loses your concentration level completely. Um, so right now, let's try concentrating again. I'm looking at a point and I'm envisioning it. I want the ball to go higher. And now it's going lower because I lost my point. So there you go. It actually works really well and it does everything as it's advertised to do. Um, however, you know, the technology itself is very cool, but I'm not sure that the actual advertisement that this is going to be a really cool game gaming device is, is as accurate. It does practice your concentration. Um, however, you do get really good over time, so it, it doesn't become as hard as a challenge as you keep on practicing with this device. So it's not exactly something you can keep on playing for eternity, but um, overall it, it's fun, it's intuitive, it's something that we've never seen before in terms of electronic gaming and sensing technology. Um, but with that in mind, we would have liked, like, we didn't, we would have liked if this was not mechanical and if this was automatic and electronic, like, if the game had actually revolved by itself instead of um, me having to spin the D-pad round and round and round and round or else um, this device would pretty much have been perfect. Uh, the games all work as advertised, they're all fun to play with, and you even have the extra compartment on the back of the device to store all your balls so you don't lose them, and the batteries, it runs on basically C-level cell batteries that are pretty large, um, but again, battery life is on the long side for this device. For all, this device comes recommended, it's cool, it's quirky, it's fun, and you can check it out online, um, and all, also at all toy resellers, for example, Toys R Us. Thanks for watching here, OS and BTX Reviews.